Hi, Redeemer. Welcome to this week's weekly update. Um, hey, real quick, just want to review the weekend. Had a great time celebrating Easter with the family and, <clears throat> excuse me, and uh, had a great dinner together and just some fun times at home. I hope it was good for you. Um, you found ways to uh, just be together and worship God. Um, hey, one, I'll share this. One thing I started doing with uh, my kids is, at dinner is, um, I've done this a couple times, and I've really enjoyed it, is teaching through some of the hymns that we sing. Uh, we've been working through, uh, which one? Um, uh, Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing, uh, just because I know that there's just a lot of words and lyrics in there that they, and phrases they just don't really get, and yet they're singing them on Sundays. And so we, we just taught through them, and what does this mean and why does that mean? And some of that you might have to look up depending on how familiar you are with them. Uh, and then we listen to them again. And I just encourage you to consider that maybe as one way to continue discipling kids if you've got them. <clears throat> and then what I like about that is this, it's like this, uh, uh, like the gift that keeps on giving now. Now every time we sing that at church, they'll actually know what they're saying. And so anyways, that's one thing we did and uh, just hung out. So um but anyway, just a couple quick things to think about as we move into this week. Um, continuing the shutdown, which right now is scheduled through April, right, in terms of not having gatherings bigger than 10 people. So we'll see how that plays out. If it, uh, if they extend it, if they modify it, we'll see. But right now, we're sitting tight. So uh, in light of that, two issues that I would like to discuss as a church uh, to help us just think through how to approach uh, giving and mission during this time. Uh, just did the finance reports for, or got received the finance reports. Julie does those, by the way. So Julie, thanks for doing that. Um, she's our treasurer. And uh, for saw the numbers for March, and uh, it was decent. It was on par. In fact, we netted positive for March. And um, so that was good. We didn't see a tremendous impact from this pandemic. Uh, but initial numbers from April don't seem to be as good. There's some trending down, and that's to be expected. And so we'll see. We'll watch the next couple months and see how that plays out long term in terms of how it impacts next year's budget. Um, so I just want to encourage us. Number one, um, if if you are in a position where you are laid off, your your income is threatened, and and that impacts your giving, like, well, that's certainly understandable. Sometimes, and we see this in the summer, um, giving goes down just because people are out of sight, out of mind. People that give, you know, when they're at the service or something or being there reminds them. And then there's some traveling and then we see this dip. If that's the case, I just want to encourage us to be really careful with that because, um, you know, we, we project budgets based on trends. And if the trend is down... Uh, and it's a real trend because there's been economic impact. Well, that's one thing. If it's just down because um, kind of out of sight, out of mind, uh, you know, that that would not be helpful because then we're, we'd be planning based on that. So just want to encourage you, if you're in that category where your uh, you're giving has been impacted simply just because of attendance and not because of, uh, uh, you know, economic impact, then, you know, just consider that. Uh, so there's that. Um, the other thing, so mission, what does mission look like? Well, I would offer, you know, when we're all locked up and can't be with people, um, I would offer a couple of thoughts. Number one, you know, there's a short term and long term approach to this. Uh, short term, you know, or excuse me, long term, if this was if this was how the church functioned, uh, you know, then we'd have to readjust our game plan for mission. Um but short term, you know, what does it look like over the course of a month or two to continue to be on mission? Well, you know, there's obviously social media. Um, well, number one, the question is, what are the existing networks and relationships where God has already been working that you have been on mission? And so those relationships, I think you, obviously you can continue those in different ways. Those are people you want to uh, communicate care and love for and not just let them fall off the radar. Um, I know that Aubrey and I have had some uh, people put in our lives that we want to be in, com in communication with, and we're doing that, texting and um, getting together. 
and things like that. Um, but there may be new opportunities where you um, haven't had these relationships and you want to and, and you want to take advantage of that. Some of that might be through social media, um, you know, engaging people or just, you know, um, I we know a, one guy at Redeemer. He took the opportunity to go down the street and uh, they left some notes on the neighbor's doors just saying, hey, if you guys need anything, uh, let us know. We can deliver groceries. We can help around the house and things like that. And because, you know, some of the people on your street are doing just fine and some aren't. And maybe you know and maybe you don't know who that is. Uh, but there's an, another opportunity. Um, there's also opportunities uh, with international students right now. And you can talk with Joe Brinkman or Luke Palandek about that. Um, some of them are less mobile and then well really most of them are less mobile than you know students that are from the u.s and so they may be unable to travel to go get groceries and things like that um and so really you can reach out to one another as a community even go on you know our facebook groups and say hey what opportunities do you guys see for serving and uh for helping and and being a gospel witness to that so i think our Initial reaction, right, as the church is, oh, oh gosh, how do we function? How do we worship? How do we do community? And, you know, we're doing some of that. But I just don't want mission to fall off. Uh, God is opening people's eyes. He is, um, you know, shifting the the world, right, shaking the world. And uh, there's opportunity there. And uh, regardless of whether or not God is going to bear evangelistic fruit there, um, still opportunities to just be thinking of others and how do we uh, be a witness, be an encouragement, and come alongside people in this. So anyways, that's enough for today. I uh, hope you're hanging in there. Uh, feel free to email me or call me, text me, reach reach out to me on Facebook if you'd like to talk about anything. Love to do that. And uh, yeah, let's be reaching out to one another and reaching out to the Lord. So love you guys. See you later.